Hi Aquarius, this video is for you if you're in love with or have a crush on someone and would like to know how they feel about you. I'll do two spreads. In the first spread, we'll try to see if they feel the same way about you, then if the feelings are mutual. In the second spread, we'll look at the potential between you and this person, or if their heart is with someone else. In the second spread, we'll see who is coming towards you in the near future. Please like, subscribe and share this video to support this channel. Alright Aquarius, let's see what the person you're in love with or have a crush on thinks about you. We have the Four of Swords clarified by the uh, Hangman, we have the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Chariot clarified by the Six of Wands, and uh, we also have the Sun on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Cancer or pretty much any Zodiac sign. It feels like this person is about to have an epiphany or a light bulb moment or they are going to finally uh, get this clear understanding of what they need to do <laughs> and how they feel about you. I'm not trying. I'm not saying this person is slow, but they are taking their time. But I think once it finally hits them, it's going to take off like a rocket. They're going to move towards you very, very quickly. So the first card that came out is the Four of Swords, and it's classified by the Hangman. Both cards are the slowest cards in the tarot deck. With the Four of Swords, the person is literally laying down, right? And uh, with the Hangman, well, the name speaks for itself, right? The person is attached and they're just hanging, right? Um, the Four of Swords, it could be them just sort of meditating. Perhaps they're sleeping at night and it hits them. Perhaps they have a, a dream about you, a premonition, or when they wake up, in the morning it'll be like a light bulb moment that goes off, right? They'll be like, ding, <laughs> I, I better get in touch with um, my Aquarius and let them know how I feel because I just realized that we should be together, I just realized uh, that uh, we have a future together, right? Um, the Four of Swords is classified by the Hangman, right? The Hangman is also, like I said, a card of a stagnation, but um, the Hangman is also a card of a, that realization I would, that I was just talking about because if you take a closer look at the hangman, there's like an orb around that person's head, so it always reminds me of uh, an epiphany or a light bulb moment, right? Um, then we have the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is the start of a new cycle, and it's a pretty fast card, right? The Wheel of Fortune is um, always good news in my spread, so they do want to start this cycle with you. They want to get this uh, off the ground. Then we have uh, the Chariot. The Chariot is one of the f fastest cards in the deck. The Chariot is also the personal Cancer card. You could be dealing with a Cancer. Or being right next to the Wheel of Fortune, it's like, which is also a pretty speedy card. Like I said, once they finally get it, uh, they'll want to move forward very, very quickly, right? And uh, the Six of Wands clarifying the Chariot is a card of a victory. Actually, both of those cards, the Chariot and the Six of Wands, are a victory card. So they will want to win you over. They will want to, you know, uh, just uh, show you how they feel about you by winning you over in a very positive way. <laughs> Back in the day, the six of ones used to used to be called the proposal card. By the way, I don't think it's a proposal right away, right? But uh, that's what the second spread is for. We'll we'll be talking about that in just a second. We'll be looking at that in just a second. But for now, they are getting ready, they're about to have that realization and uh, they'll want to move forward really quickly. The sun on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your right, is the happiest card in the deck. And the sun is also a card of clarity. So like I said a few, uh, a couple of minutes ago, they are going to get really crystal clear about what they need to do, about how they feel about you, and they'll want to, um, uh, you know, express it to you. So yeah, let's move on to spread number two. Spread number two is the potential between you and this person. Alright Aquarius, so here's spread number two, the potential between you and the person we just saw revealed in the previous spread. We have the seven of ones, clarified by the magician. We have the star, we have the ten of pentacles, clarified by the world, and we also have um, the ace of swords on the bottom of the deck. Um, we have your card, Aquarius, the star in the middle, that is you, unless you're dealing with another Aquarius, and it's always a good sign to have your own card in your own reading. Um, so yeah, this person, um, they will even get a little pushy. <laughs> well, the seven of ones, the first card that came out in this spread, I think this is them uh, just sort of defending the idea, defending the vision, defending the fact that uh, they think they, the two of you should be together. So with the seven of ones, they will be very persistent. They'll uh, just keep on coming towards you until you give them a green light. But uh, I don't really see you hesitating either. So perhaps 
you play a little game with them, play a little hard to get, and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but with the seven of ones, I do see them, you know, being very persistent. <clears throat> the seven of ones is classified by the magician. The magician is a card of somebody who manifests someone or something into their life, but it's also a card of action. So like I said, with the seven of ones, they're going to get really active. They will try different things or they'll just keep on coming towards you, right? With different things, different offers. You'll be hearing a lot from this person, <laughs> right? The ace of swords on the bottom of the deck all the way to you, right? There's very similar energy as the seven of uh, ones with the magician. Also very decisive energy. The uh, ace of swords is about, um, you know, somebody wanting to have a brand new beginning with you. Um, the Ace of Swords is uh, very direct, very straightforward communication from them. So they're not going to be beating around the bush. They're not going to be playing around. You'll know exactly what they want. They'll let you know. You'll know what their intentions are. Their intentions are to get it into a commitment with you. Because we have the Ten of Pentacles right next to the deck, clarified by the world. The Ten of Pentacles is one of the commitment or marriage cards. It's a very solid, very grounded, very long-term type of a deal. This is when people... Um, buy real estate together, this is when people grow old together, have children together, and the whole nine yards with the dog <laughs> as a pet or a cat, if you're a cat or a pet, or a dog person, or a ferret, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> you know, but jokes aside, yeah, uh, the Ten of Pentacles is, uh, you know, the whole, the whole deal. You know, the Ten of Pentacles is clarified by the world. The world is my happy end card. So this is one chapter of your life coming to an end. But a new, really happy chapter together with this person is about to start if you want it. This is the potential spread, right? But they, I do see them coming towards you either way, you know. And at the same time, I don't really see you uh, resisting that that much. <laughs> Unless, like I said, you're trying to uh, uh, make them work for it, to earn it. Well, which it, and that is totally fine with me. It's whatever, however you want to, uh, you know, play it, I guess. But yeah, I like it. I like this spread. I like this whole reading, <laughs> Aquarius. Um, yeah, there's definitely a potential uh, that you can uh, benefit from. There's definitely a long-term potential. There's definitely a potential for a family, for a full-blown family with that Ten of Pentacles. All right. So that's what I got for you, Aquarius. Um, if this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also sh uh, share and subscribe. And other than that, Aquarius, have an amazing December. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you. And if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.